The state of the helicopter industry in Canada is in constant change. Uh, a good example of that is the impact of drone on the helicopter industry. And certainly the full impact uh, is still yet to be seen. Another area is uh, labor shortages. Uh, the challenges is that we're all recruiting, all going after the same people, and we're recruiting against the major uh, carriers. The other impact as well is uh, fatigue management uh, regulation that is coming down the pipe that is really not well adapted to our industry, especially for remote and seasonal operation presents an even greater challenges on uh, labor shortages. Some of the challenges associated with the labor shortage can also be linked to the downturn we saw in the helicopter industry. Although some left the industry simply because of retirement, we also had limited opportunities to onboard new talent. What we've been doing about this is building relationships with colleges and training institutions. We've created internal internship programs to build that experience. We work with our customers to review experience requirements to see if they're still pertinent in today's market. And we even, in some cases, roll out competency-based training programs to get into compliance with their standard. In the end, we're working to sustainable employment and help offset the risks associated with the labor shortage. I think the city governments can help the industry in three main ways. Number one, they should look at the apprenticeship programs and the credits that they give to students when they finish school. A few years ago, apprentices used to require 36 months of apprenticeship prior to getting their AME license. Now that's 48 months. Uh, many of the credits assigned to schools did not change, so that, that should be revisited. Secondly, uh, and to a lesser degree, the government should look at the requirements for licensing foreign workers in Canada and the recognition of previous experience and courses that they've taken overseas. Third, and perhaps the largest thing, government should introduce aviation at the high school level. Currently, a high school student is exposed to automotive maintenance, to shop classes, but there's no exposure to aviation, so I think that is the biggest step that they can do.